Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Brett Carlin, and I'm the artistic director and conductor of the Master Chorale of South Florida. Welcome, and thanks so much for being a part of this afternoon's live stream. This afternoon is all about Franz Josef Haydn's masterwork, The Creation, which is a musical setting of the Old Testament story in Genesis when God created the world in six days and rested on the seventh. This work is one of the most performed pieces in all of the Western classical canon of music, and you're about to hear why. It's joyous, it's elegant, it's witty, it's funny, and above all else, it's enthusiastic. It's filled with hit after hit of joyous and celebratory choruses and earworms, some melodies that will stick with you for days or weeks after hearing it. The work is structured in three parts that take us through the six days of creation and then, of course, the seventh day of rest. The opening of the work is one of my absolute favorite parts, and it's called the representation of chaos. It actually starts with a musical representation of the big, big bang with all of the instruments of the orchestra playing one loud unison pitch. This big bang is then followed by a really ambiguous, winding orchestral overture that is meant to represent the beginnings of existence before anything is fully formed. It's the musical representation of chaos that exists before God brings order to the universe. After the overture, we're then introduced to three archangels that guide us through each day of the creation. The first soloist you'll hear is Raphael, performed by bass baritone Deshaun Burton, who describes the creation of the heavens and the earth. The chorus then enters for the absolute most iconic moment of the piece, the creation of light, which is represented by a sudden entrance of all the brass instruments and a forte or very loud statement from every singer in the chorus and every instrument on stage. Now let's go ahead and watch the opening three movements of Master Chorale's 2019 performance of Haydn's creation, which will take us from chaos through day one of God's work creating the heavens, earth, and separating light from darkness.
that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. That was the opening of Haydn's Creation, performed by Deshaun Burton, Stephen Sof, and the Master Chorale of South Florida. Next up for our Measure by Measure this afternoon are days two and three of creation. For day two, God creates clouds, the atmosphere, and water. And then on the third day, God created land and plant life. In this next clip, you'll hear the orchestra play a short phrase that represents some sort of weather event. Then the archangel Raphael, sung by Deshaun Burton, responds to name and describe each weather event. We'll hear raging storms, powerful winds, lightning and thunder, rain, hail, and then finally this recitative ends with the light and flaky snow. After this movement, 
we'll listen to Nola Richardson, who plays the archangel Gabriel, sing two different movements. First, she'll sing a celebratory chorus that ends day two of creation, again, the clouds, atmosphere, and water. Then we'll hear Nola sing the beginning of day three, which sings about the creation of land, trees, flowers, and vegetation that bear fruit. Now let's go ahead and listen to the Master Chorale and days two and three of Haydn's creation.
That was Nola Richardson singing about the wonder of trees, flowers, and all plant life at the end of day three in the Genesis creation story set by Joseph Haydn. Our next set will cover day four, on which God creates the sun, moon, and stars, as well as day six, when God creates all animals that walk on land, including man or Adam and Eve. In the first clip, we'll hear the orchestra represent the first sunrise, the soft, pale light of the moon, and the twinkling of all the stars in the sky. And if you listen really closely to the very opening of this next clip, you'll hear our forte pianist, Dylan Sauerwelt, improvise a recitative. He actually sneaks in Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as a little bit of a musical joke and a reference to the musical material that Stephen Sof sings, our archangel Uriel, as he describes the first sunrise, the pale moonlight, and then of course the twinkling of all the stars. This excerpt will then be followed by a solo in which the archangel Raphael describes the creation of all animals that walk on land. You'll hear the orchestra represent animal sounds of lions and tigers, stags and horses, cows and sheep, insects, and then finally, the lowly and in long dimensions, worm. This set will end with a duet performed by Adam and Eve. Haydn actually sets the final section of the piece in the Garden of Eden, in which we hear Adam and Eve awake for the first time in this beautiful slow duet, and we hear them being amazed at all of the creations around them, everything that they're experiencing for the first time. So here's the Master Chorale of South Florida with Stephen Sof, Deshaun Burton, and Nola Richardson.
immense of the azure sky, in your most force of radiant orbs adorned. And the sons of the God announced the fourth day in song divine, praising God's great might.
and beasts of the earth after their kind.
Well, I hope you've all enjoyed all of these Master Chorale performances today from our 2019 performance of Haydn's Creation that earned Master Chorale the uh, demarcation of one of the top 10 performances of 2019 by South Florida Classical Review. Thanks again to all of you for joining us this afternoon and sharing this music with us. Art helps make sense of a world that doesn't often make sense, especially during an election year. And most of us know, of course, that art doesn't exist in this country without philanthropy, especially during a time when in-person choral performances are not possible. So if you enjoyed what you heard today, I encourage you to consider supporting the Master Chorale with a gift. We're in on the final days of our intermission campaign, which is a matching fundraiser challenge we've been hosting over the summer and the first couple of months of this fall. In this challenge, a group of donors came to us with a $30,000 pledge that they would match dollar for dollar any gift that the corral received up to $30,000. There's only a few days left and we are so close to meeting our goal of $60,000 for the Master Chorale. So if you're so inclined, if you were moved by some of the musical messages this afternoon, or just enjoyed yourself and are passionate about choral music in South Florida, I encourage you to visit Master Chorale of South Florida's website and make a gift this afternoon. Now, our program today will finish with the final recitative and chorus from Haydn's creation. In this final excerpt, you'll hear the archangel Uriel sing about the happy pair of Adam and Eve with a little foreshadowing of their fall from grace and the tempting of the snake. But in typical Haydn fashion, he chooses not to set that part of the story musically and instead finishes with a celebratory fugue that is one of the greatest moments in the piece. It's the zenith, it's the culmination of this massive massive three-hour work set in three parts. Again, we hope you enjoyed the program this afternoon, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.